There have also been similar trends that I've noticed in trademark cases, and I've had several, and there's been a whole glut of cases involving RICO and uh, claims concerning gray market goods, which for anyone who's not familiar with them, are cases concerning sale of goods within the United States, which were branded and intended to be sold in foreign countries. There's a body of law concerning uh, the, 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 t the moments when the trademark laws can allow the manufacturer to bring a trademark claim against those who are uh, uh, diverting those goods and selling them within the United States, and I'll explain uh, what a, a good example of one of those. Uh, and it's because of the structure of that case and others like it, um, it's combining a trademark claim with a variety of other um, common law and, and statutory claims.